it's us. Uh. Yo, it's Fallen Playboys. Welcome back to another video, man. In today's video, we're going to be replacing my AEM boost controller with a Cortex EBC so I can be able to run boost by gear. But uh, yeah, before we even jump into that, I want to say, like, yo, Florida is feeling like a really, really good today. Like, it's like 80 degrees out, sun's not out, a little breezy, not too, you know, not too breezy. It feels good. And also, I wanted to let you guys know that I do stream now. So if you guys haven't found that out, I'm going to leave the links in the description. Uh, it's basically my Instagram name with an extra A and without the underscore. So got the soda with the extra A. I'm trying my best to stream more consistently because I actually enjoy doing it. Sometimes I stream twice a week, three times a week. Sometimes I don't stream at all. But I'm going to try to change that and make it like a, a consistent schedule so you guys know what I'm going to be on. And you guys can come chill, talk it up, you know, watch videos with me, play some games. I would love to play games with some of you guys. So, yeah. Make sure you guys, you know, go follow that Twitch. That Make sure you guys go follow that Twitch channel. So, what you guys see right here is, I believe, everything. I, I hope, because I bought this kit used. But, yeah, this should be everything to install that bad boy right there. Um, it's going to be, you know, pretty simple setup. It shouldn't be too crazy. Only crazy part is that you do have to mess with your ECU wiring. Huh? And uh, I, I think I found a way around that. So, I was, you know, searching on Amazon for, like, different... Oh, let me let this Fiat pass by. Like, bro, look at this. Bro. 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 Why the Fiat saw like that? Bro. But, yeah, like I was saying, I think I found a solution on not to, like, cut up your harness and splice and all that stuff. I was scrolling on Amazon, and I just put, like, easy, uh, easy hard wire or something like that. I put something, something that could, you know, be what I'm trying to do without being what I'm trying to do. So I found these like T-taps kind of, but they're not T-taps. They're basically, uh, they say automotive. So they're, wi they're wire splice connectors. So I'm gonna try them out. We gonna see how they work. Um, yeah, hopefully nothing happens. That will suck. But it seemed it, like from the reviews, it seemed like they do what they're supposed to do, and they're good for like up to like 500 volts or something like that, which the car is, should never ever get that high. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try them out. I'm gonna leave everything in the description. Well, I'm gonna leave this in the description in case anybody want to copy what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, hopefully this takes out me having to splice and wire and solder and you know, cause I didn't want to do that. I really did it. I want this kit to be able to be removed if I wanted to remove it. So, yeah. So, I don't know if I told you guys recently, but my boost controller, well, my my boost solenoid that's hiding right there, I think it took a crap on me because the, car, the cars are only hitting wastegate pressure. It's not hitting anything higher than that. The most it'll hit is probably like 9.5, 9.8 PSI, and that's basically wastegate pressure because I have an eight pound spring. And when the temperature gets cold, which how it does at night, it gets it gets that high. It doesn't get higher than that. And mind you, I upped the duty cycle like to 40, which should be like all the boost. Well, not all the boost, but it should be like you know 20 pounds, which is, which the car is not going to be running. But I wanted to see if it would get that high, and it stayed at eight PSI, nine PSI. So. I, I, I'm thinking the wiring or the boost solenoid took a crap. I mean, I did buy that kit used. The guy I bought it from had it on like a, some old, some old, like, I don't even know what the car was called. I don't even know what the car was called, but he had it on that for a while until he went with Cortex, I believe. And uh, he never swapped anything out. So I'm, I don't know how long he had it on the car. It had to be for a while. But, uh, I'm sorry, the Fiat came back again, and it's just, bro, what the hell? Why, why does your Fiat sound like that? Somebody stole your cat? But, uh, yeah. So, I'm guessing the booster in took a crap, or the wiring, something happened that it's not working like how it's supposed to work. So, we're going to get started on removing this. My car is filthy. But, yeah, we're going to get started on removing everything. Um, I'm going to disconnect the battery. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get into it.
after like 35 minutes of just pulling out wires, cleaning up, you know, where the Booster Solenoid was at, I finally got the old uh, boost controller out. So yeah. Now, I'm, I already set up the Cortex, basically. Well, the boost controller. It's right here. So, basically what I'm gonna do now, I'm not gonna mount it up yet. Uh, I wanna get all the wiring stuff, like running through the car. And then, uh, yeah, I can show you guys how everything looks. So, I probably won't wire up the Cortex today, but I, I am gonna get everything, like, everything in. When I say wire up, I mean, like, actually, like, touching the ECU and all that stuff. Um, I might save that for another weekend or save that for a, like, a part two of installing this. But, uh, yeah, here goes my, uh, wiring harness. Um, so, trying to make this easy as I can. So... There's a red wire that has this little, yeah, the fuse tap thingy is the obviously your uh, 12 volt. And uh, they said they want anything that's smaller than a 5. So I'm sharing a 7.5 and then I have a 5 amp fuse on top. Um, next is your ground. You're going to have two ground wires. Then these is the stuff that's going to be wired into your ECU. Um, one is engine speed. One is uh, throttle position. And then the other one is uh, RPM. So I made sure I kept these together just in case. Why is it not focusing on what I'm talking about? So I made sure, I, sorry. I made sure I uh, wrapped these together so I know what those were. And then the rest of them, where's the, all right. So these I'm not using. So um, I read the manual. Basically they say to like, uh, like separate them so that they're separated inside and then I close the top so Nothing will like touch it and it won't touch no wires and no metal pieces in the car when I'm driving So yeah, that's that's the setup like I said before it seems like a very hard install when you look at all the wiring But it's really really easy it's three wires or well, four wires that you're basically using like how I was doing with the AEM boost controller but uh Yeah, I can't wait to get it installed and uh actually get it all working up oh by the way you do have to get some vacuum line but if you buy the, the kit complete from uh cortex yourself they already send you the vacuum line and they use a uh i'm not so close they use a one eighth vacuum line instead of the 316th i think we use or something like that so or something something else but uh yeah we're almost there just gotta put everything back now so let's have fun and let's do it all right, guys, so here's a little update. Um, got the wires through. Uh, these three wires is going to go to this connector right here. Well, the wires coming out the connector. Uh, what the hell? Why is this? Oh, okay. That's that's for the uh, boost solenoid. Um, show you guys the inside of the car. Total mess right now. But I'm trying to clean everything up. Um, so I got the wires inside this little wiring loom that I had. Um... Three, these two wires don't get used so that's why you guys see it has black tape on it um, got the power to the 12 volt right there my fingers wiggling at um, yeah and now oh yeah the ground is grounding it's to right there you guys can see it it's my finger right here and yeah that's basically it I'm um, just going to plug in the Cortex, which is on the chair right here. And then we're going to check it out, see if uh, everything turns on and clicks. And if it does, we should be okay. All right, guys. So finally, after like four hours, bro, I finally got the Cortex in. And I got it in a nice spot. Um, I'm hoping it stays there. But uh, the hardest part about this whole like install was just dealing with all the wiring. There's so much damn wire and they're so damn long and like just trying to figure out where to put it in this small little cockpit pause i don't know why i say cockpit but uh yeah it just made it a pain in the ass but i did it um as you guys can see there's no wires the wires that you probably are seeing are my uh hondata and my led strip which i'm probably going to remove because it's it's falling but uh yeah all i gotta do is just tuck it in like that and you you don't see the wires anymore but for the cortex cortex is uh mounted right here 
kind of can see it, but yeah, the Cortex is mounted right there. Um, I'm using some 3M tape to hold it up, and it's it's pretty it's pretty snug. Like it's 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 not moving. So I'm hoping it's uh you know it'll stay there. I took out the little uh, it's like a little like a clip that's right here by your clutch pedal, and I ran the wires through that hole. So like. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks nice. It looks clean. You can't really tell that anything is here, which is like the whole purpose. Um, I didn't want people to see it when you look inside the car. Like, if I was to stand out, like if I was to stand outside, you would not be able to see that I have a Cortex. <sighs> Even if I sit down, you still could barely see it. Like, you just, just barely see it. Just a tiny little bit. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I want. And... Where's, it? Where's my keys? Everything starts. Well, I didn't start the car yet, but. As you can see, it works. Uh, I guess I'll start the car. So, yeah. Car starts. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying this car, man. It's getting better every couple months whoo but yeah Cortex is in I, I literally just need to get it wired up to the ECU and then uh turn off the car but yeah I need to get it wired up to the ECU so I can actually run boost by gear because all it's gonna really do right now is just manage the boost um I'm not obviously not gonna get into boost until until that stuff happens I'm just gonna uh yeah I'm just not even gonna get into boost but uh i'm happy it's in it's car runs yeah mm, that e85 baby damn I, I love when florida starts to get cold like this whoa why is the camera so dark hold on bro i love when florida starts to get cold like this because the e85 just kicks it up and like it's just so potent bro it's just really really potent i love it Damn, my thing smell good, bro. But all right, guys, this is where I'm at off the video. Until part two, when we actually get it wired up and get it running right. Um, yeah, man, like I said, install process is pretty easy. It's just a lot of damn wires, bro. So if you really want to install this, have fun and uh, be creative on where you're going to put your wiring. It's very, very simple, very, very easy. Actually, let me even, let me even dive into it a little bit more. And show you guys exactly where I uh, show you guys exactly where I uh, uh, show you guys exactly where I put everything. So um, let's see. As you guys can see, kind of you guys see that I have the fuse tap that I was using, which is that brown one right there. Um, I'm gonna see if I can put like a uh, arrow on it, I guess. But yeah. That fuse tap is for the 12 volt. You can see what I was talking about when I said I had that little grommet removed and now the wire is running through it. You see how it's mounted up. Vacuum lines right there going to the back of it. I have enough space to put the USB to put like, you know, do data logs and stuff like that. Um, I had this. That's for my gauge. If you, you know, if you decide to get that gauge, um, it wires up through there, goes up into my little gauge pod. And uh, it's a very clean little setup, man. And I'm in a, such an awkward position right now. <sighs> and I'm tired of selling this right here. This ain't it. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty clean setup. Everything works, looks clean. Well, enough. I can clean it a little bit better. But you know, until that, until that day comes, it's gonna stay like that. Oh, oh gosh, I'm stuck. Damn. But yeah, like I was saying, um. Till next time, to part two, when I get everything wired up and get it running. <laughs> I'm so tired of you guys. I've been out here since like one. It's like six now. And I'm um, thirsty as hell. But this is where your boy's gonna end off. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. Follow your boy on Twitch at got the soda with an extra A. Uh, head to my merch site, www.zuvi Garage. Everything's gonna be in the description, man. Support your boy so I can help y'all support. What? Support your boy so I can help y'all in the future. And bro, your boy's out, man. Peace. Yeah.
mind. Yes, I got trouble on my mind.